DC has a lot of wildlife, you know that. The deer will walk right up to your dinner table. But we've got animals so common that you might not realize just how special they are. Take DC's eye-catching black squirrels, for example. Have you ever stopped to wonder, how do they get here? What makes them different from gray squirrels? We spoke with a wildlife expert here in DC for some answers. Here's Lorenzo Hall. Where did black squirrels in the D.C. area come from? Well, Jim tells us squirrels weren't present in cities like they are now. Cities weren't the ideal habitat and people used to hunt them. So the squirrel population was almost at zero in D.C. by the year 1900. That's when something unusual happened. The, the folks at the Canadian Embassy felt sorry for us because we didn't have any squirrels. So they decided to rectify that and do a nice neighborly thing. And they caught a bunch of squirrels, 30 some I think, and brought them to Washington and let them go on the grounds of the Washington Zoo. But among those initial um, squirrels were some black ones. And the black gene being a dominant gene, it tends to replicate pretty well. And so from there, they've been spreading. How has the location of black squirrels changed since they were placed in D.C.? Well, Jim says black squirrels have been spreading outward from D.C. ever since they were placed here from Canada back in 1902. And they keep moving. They used to be just in the district, but um, they've been in Maryland for a long time and they keep expanding their reach into Maryland. It wouldn't surprise me if they're in Pennsylvania now or they certainly will be shortly. For a long time, the Potomac River was like the Berlin Wall for squirrels. They didn't show up. You know, you, there were no black squirrels, but they have recently, uh, within the last 10 years, I think, 10, maybe 15 years, have jumped the Potomac River. How they got across, I don't know. But there are now some black squirrels showing up in Virginia, so there'll be no stopping them. But are you supposed to feed them? What makes them different from gray squirrels? Jim says their official name is the Eastern Gray Squirrel. They just happen to be black. My question is, are you supposed to feed them? Somebody tell my wife, no.